so in the today's video we will work on the profile page so i already told about that if the profile data is available on the back end then we will show the profile of the user over here and what if the profile data is not available in the back end then we have to show a button over here that after clicking a button we will land into the page where we can provide our profile data like if there will be a button and i will press a button then i will go on a page that where we can create a profile where we will add a name tagline and all other details which will be needed and in today's video we will work on that so just me so just i want to say that when i will click on this button then i will call a rest api endpoint which we have to create into the next video that the that will check that the data of the particular username is available or not i mean the profile data is particular of username is available on the backend or not if the data is available then it will send a true and otherwise it will send a false just we did on the unique username checking rest api if the username was unique then we will saying at false and otherwise the username is already there in the backend we are sending a true similar kind of thing we will do here and if the profile data is not available over here then we will provide a button over here and after clicking a button we will land out the land into the page and let's go that let's go and create that functionality here so for that i will create a method button so in today's video we will work on the, the ui only i mean we will not connect a rest api so watch this video very carefully uh, because it will kind of mute video i mean i will not speak too much i will just do the coding you have to watch the video carefully and i will explain at the some point let's start so i will create a method here that will return a widget that widget i will place on the body right now so let's work on that
so just we added a container right now uh, with the help of this container we created a button so just we are doing in the other video also that for the creating a button we use container then after creating a container we will wrap the widget with the inkwell so with the help of inkwell we will create a button functionality so in the content method we will write a navigator so let's write it and let's create a new file for the creating a profile so for that i just created a profile folder where i put the profile screen already so just you have to change the screen the profile screen was there in the screen folder you have to put it on the profile screen here i will create a new file called create profile where we will write the code of the create profile screen let's do that For the checking purpose, I just created a create profile screen. Let me import it create profile screen on here. After adding successfully if I will click on add profile button then we will go on the create profile page let's work on the create profile page to create a profile form we need to have a list view because we need a multiple text form widget one by one and also we need a image field about all the text form field where we will put our image or profile image so to implement a such kind of thing we have to wrap our or we have to provide a body as a list view first in the list view children we can provide our all the text form field which we implement over here again i will what I will do that I will create a custom method for first text form field then we will just copy that custom method then we will use that method for all other text form field let me create the name text form field first In the input decoration we have a field name border side so let me create a border side then I will explain you that what is that mean and we have to use this name text field inside this widget then we will show the border I mean how it will look like then I will tell you that how it's it will look like just let me copy it and paste it over here and hit the save and change and here we are getting a text form field but it's not looking great we have just wrap a padding over here and uh, provide a padding symmetric and add a horizontal and vertical view
after saving it you can see the border over here and the text form field but just let me do one quick thing that we reduce the horizontal and here we get our first text form field which is a name text form field with help of this outline border we achieve this border thing but it's not looking great right now because we had to add another thing also i am thinking about adding a icon also the prefix icon so it will look great in the icon i want to provide icon dot person because we are working on the profile page so with help of this if i will hit the save and we will get a icon over here and uh, change the color of icon with color start green and hit the save and we have an icon we also have to add uh, another border for the focus color you will see the thing after i will hit the another text form field why i am adding a focus border so let's add a focus border then i will show you that how it will help us so i am just copying the same thing that we added here and i will use the focus bo border and i will paste the thing and in the focus border i will provide the color orange and i will also provide a width i will provide a width too hit the save and we just have to do a one thing that just for the checking purpose i am just copying it this thing and i will add a size box between these two thing so it will look great and the height will be 20 now if i will save then you will see two text form field over there and if i will click on the first one then the border of the focus input is changed that's why i added a focus border also so now we have to add a helper text and the label text also so to add a helper text and label text we just have to use the inside the input document we just have to use the label and the label text will be name and we also have to provide a hint text like like we have the hint text sorry it's hint text in the hint text i will provide the hint like dev stack and hit the save and you can see that the hint text is added over here and if i am click over here then the then the name is going above and the hint text is coming below and the last thing we have to provide a helper text hit the save and we will get helper text just below the input field and we have to do the form validation but in this video if i will do the form validation then it will become lengthy so what i will do that i will just copy this thing for the name field and similar thing i will paste over here but this name it will not a name field it will be a next text form field what was our next field is profession so it will be a profession text field and the helper text will be profession and similarly the profession can't be empty and here we will add a profession full 
tag developer same thing we have to do for the other field also like dob title line let me do that all these thing So last field is about field. In the about field, we cannot be show the about field in a single line. We have to show the about field like four to five lines, so the user can add a multiple line and see the detail he or she is adding. So in the text mode field, we have a parameter called max line. With help of max line, we can provide the how many lines we have to queue the user to add. Like I will provide the four. And hit the save and all this kind of fill I will add on the list view then you will see the changes instead of this just add uh, all the other fill after saving the fill you can see the about fill is like this and uh, we just have to add some size box between all this fill so it will look nice for us and uh, we are also add because we have a submit button in the below of this field now it's looking great and uh, in the about field we just have to change the name of the about field and instead of profession just add the about and uh, we don't need here a prefix icon because it will not look good and hit the save and we got the about but just have to change the this field we don't need a helper text also here or we can provide the write about yourself kind of helper text over here so the agenda of this video is now completed we just have to add over here a button after clicking a button we will send this data to the backend and also we have to add a image field just about the name field we will work on this kind of field in the next coming video but in the next video we will work on the backend first then after the next video we will work on the ui of this blog app thank you all and happy coding see you on the next video